So at this point, if it's your first time through, you've got a couple holes done. If, if, you've, if you're coming back the second time and you're doing the rest of your course, this is also a good spot to kind of do a sanity check. Um, the sanity check being uh, we've created these shapes inside of Inkscape. And what we've done is we've brought in our satellite imagery. And if you recall during, if, if, you, if you did your own LiDAR, you'll recall that we created our SAT overlays as part of the LiDAR. And if someone else did it for you, okay, they did that. They created your, your LiDAR, your height map, and your satellite overlays, and they made sure that they um, were kind of aligned to each other. And then you brought those into Inkscape, and you had to size them correctly, okay? You also uh, added satellite overlays inside of Unity. You put your height map inside of Unity, okay? Um, and you should have seen that inside of Unity. Uh, now we want to make sure that all that stuff was correct because there was a lot of things in there that could have gone wrong. So the whole point of this part of the process is we're going to export our Inkscape shapes that we just created in a format and a size that when we bring it into Unity and we put it on top of our terrain, things like our bunkers and our greens, um, any place where you see a shape on your terrain, it should match up to what we did in Inkscape. Cross your fingers because if it didn't, you screwed up okay i'm going to put it that way you screwed up um uh, another thing is like maybe your satellite overlays um there was a video early on about doing a hill shade and using hill shade to maybe slightly move your sat overlays so if things are off a meter or two you're going to see that now and you're going to see that maybe the bunker that you just drew or the bunkers that you just drew in inkscape don't exactly match the 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 dig the dig part on your course on your terrain that's a problem so that's why you only had to do a couple holes because if you just did 18 holes and all of a sudden this isn't working you just wasted several hours of work okay um, so that's why we want to do the sanity check so to get started on this let's open up Inkscape again and this is just our couple holes now you made of as part of the whole 99 process here you might have done like a whole 99 um, for the sake of this, oop, and you can see when I add my cart path, I didn't move my 99. So that would have given us a problem anyway. So let me just fix that. Oh, I got a couple spots. So when I drew my cart paths earlier, um, I did not adjust my whole 99 to encompass those. So that would be a problem, not now, but later on in Blender. So that's just always, you know, something that you should see right away and say, that's a problem. But for the sake of what we're doing now, we do not want our whole 99. So we can just disable this here, okay? We're gonna leave our satellite layer on because what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this into a PNG and then we're gonna import in Unity. And we're gonna take this snapshot of what you see right here. And then, so we want uh, we want to be able to see our, our sat essentially here and we wanna see our shapes. So let's go back up here. Um, there should be, where is it my, I think this is, yes this export tab over here. So we're gonna go into our export tab and down here under our image size, we wanna make sure the width is 8192 and we wanna make sure our height is 8192, okay? Make sure it says that. If not, this isn't gonna work. Make sure you've got down here in the lower right-hand corner that we're exporting as a PNG. And then we're gonna click down here on this file browser, this little folder. And then we're gonna get this pop-up here. Now, what you need to do now is if you followed my uh, best practices very early in the course of where to put your stuff, you should have been putting your, you should have had your, in your root directory, or maybe you put it someplace else. If you didn't follow them, that's fine. You just need to where it's at. You've got your OPC projects. I named mine Hershey Country Club or HCC. I try to keep it short. Um, and then I got my Unity folder. In this case, the one I'm actively working on is this 4.2 right here. And then in here, I have my assets folder. We're gonna go in there and we should have a terrain backup folder. And I'm gonna save this, what I'm gonna call SVG terrain. You can call yours this as well, SVG terrain.png. I'm gonna save it into this folder. And I'm gonna click save. Uh, whoops, you're gonna get this pop up here and just click okay. And then it's gonna say that it's exporting. And it might take a second. I'm just going to pause. Okay, now that that has exported, we are going to open up our Unity project, which you should have set up earlier in the course. 
and I have mine here, here. <laughs> uh, let me maximize this so you can see. And this should be a little familiar. So I am above the area of the course. So this looked familiar to you. This is the pond that we did. This is hole one, the driving range, okay? Look familiar. And this is just right now, it's my satellite overlay. Now I do have some actually buildings and stuff in here already, which I'm a little bit ahead of where you are. Don't worry about that. It doesn't really impact what you're doing, just what I'm doing. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to bring in that, that Inkscape export, that PNG that we did. We want to bring it in here and see how it lines up here. So let's go to our uh, train backup folder. And we have our train.svg right here. And the first thing we do is we highlight this, go over to our inspector here, and let's change this max size to 8192 so it matches what our export settings were, and let's apply that. And that might take a second or two, depending on how busy your computer is or how much CPU you have. Hopefully it won't take long and I'm not gonna pause. Okay, so that is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our inner terrain, and you can see if I come up here to my settings, I'm sorry, is it the paintbrush? Yes. You can see if I come up to this paintbrush right here, our first slot right here, don't worry about it. You're not probably not gonna have this second slot. This is something I was doing. As a matter of fact, I can just probably delete that. Um, you're gonna have this first slot. This first slot controls what image is applied to your terrain. Now, right now, you should have your satellite overlay. And if I come up here and I see what I did here, I went edit textures, I went clicked on this, edit texture, edit texture, and I get this pop up. And if I click on this, it's telling me right now, I've got my Hershey Country Club underscore G, okay, my underscore Google assigned right now as my overlay on my, on my uh, terrain. Well, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change it to the SVG terrain by dragging it in here and dropping it. And now you can see what happened is that my Inkscape export is now on top of my terrain. And I can fly in and I can look at this and see how things line up. So I'm gonna hit Shift, W, and I'm gonna fly down to this water. And if I get really close here, you can see how this water is lining up and how my that shape's lining up. Now. What also helps, I'm going to turn on shaded wireframe, and this gives us, hopefully you can see it in the video, but this gives me a little bit better view. And you can see right here is where the bank is. I might have drawn this a little bit too wide. So you can see that I might have drawn this water a little bit too wide, so I might want to change that. Now, what I really want to look at, though, are my bunkers. And you can see when I zoom into my bunkers, and I'm sorry, let me switch this to, uh, yeah, away from that so you don't get that big brush. Uh, you can see at this blunk bunker, it kind of, it lines up pretty good. Same thing with this one. If I move around, this bunker lines up. Yeah, do you like this one? This one lines up rather nicely as well. You can see that the, the lip of the bunker here, the lip of the bunker here, this green looks like it's in the right spot. I do find that looking at bunkers is the best way to determine if things align correctly. Here's a couple T boxes which look good. Let's go look at these bunkers over here. How's this bunker look? Now, if you have bad, I shouldn't say bad LiDAR, but if you have bad resolution LiDAR, your bunkers might be flat. Um, if that's the case, you're probably gonna have to dig them out. I tend to always dig out my bunkers because I like to give them a lot of depth and it makes the course look better. You do not dig, that's a, that's a separate video that's gonna be coming up, which is digging out your bunkers after this. Um, but those look pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy. What you have to be concerned about though, is when your Inkscape shapes are off like more than I would say half a meter. So if this bunker was, I would say over here, that means you got some alignment issues and most likely if it's off a meter or two, it means your satellite overlay wasn't lined up correctly. And that's where that hill shade video that I cited earlier, you might've missed that and you gotta fix that and go back and you can shift everything. Um, there's probably some videos on Discord about doing that. But at this point, things look good. So this step is all about um, finding out if, you're, if, you're, if your shapes are lining up. 
Another thing you're going to do, another result of this, is we're going to actually use this to dig. So you can use RAM. You might want to flatten out your cart paths. So now you know exactly where your cart paths are. Um, so later on, using RAM, we'll be able to actually flatten out this cart path. Now, I already did a lot of flattening here. So you can see that my cart path here looks pretty darn good. Well, that's because I already flattened it with RAM. Um, you can see here that I got really close. And it might, I might need to work on that area just a tad. But you can see, for the most part, my cart path is extremely smooth. That'll look familiar to you. So that's the cart path that we did. But it lines up rather nicely and looks smooth as well. All right. Um, one thing you might want to do um, is just switch this back to your regular satellite overlay. So if I go to my terrain inner again, highlight here, edit texture, bring this up, and I can put my old satellite overlay back in there. I drag it up, and it's back to my, my Google. And that's just how you swap them back and forth. And you're going to do quite a bit of that. You're going to be swapping these things back and forth to take a look. So now it's my, uh, you can see some of the housework that I've been doing on this course. Humble brag, there's the country club, uh, the building that I just built, and then there's the factory and the Hershey Park and everything down over here, uh, and then some of the houses. Still a lot of work to do, but getting there. Okay, guys, uh, on to the next one.